Hi Aries, this is Marishi, you're my channel Trilaka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which is coming through for this week. You've got the Death card as your first card. You've got the High Priestess. Center of the reading is a Chariot in reverse. You've got the Strength card in reverse. And the last card is a Three of Pentacles. Behind the deck is a Ten of Wands in reverse. I just broke the deck and I've got the Eight of Cups as well as the Five of Pentacles. Some of you feel very much stranded right now. Okay, uh, pretty much um, feeling a little betrayed. Pride is affected. When I saw this uh, strength card in reverse, your your pride has been affected. It seems like you're licking your wounds. Hmm? In regards to whatever has happened, somebody might have walked away, and you feel pretty much stranded right now. Okay. You want some kind of a movement within your situation, but yet, okay, you want some kind of a transition with, uh, you know, movement within this uh, situation. You want to work it out as well, but right now, how I see it is, it is out of your control. Things are out of your control. How much ever you want uh, things to work out, you can't help it. You can't do anything about it. I want to say there is an external influence. Hmm? There is an external influence uh, which has more power over the situation than you. And they are not working alongside as you. They are not teaming up you, uh, with you for what you want. Hmm? You really want to put the past behind and make it work, but the others don't have any such intention. I also want to say others has been hurt, um, hurt as well. I don't know how it applies, but uh, there are other people who is hurt, not just you. Okay, Aries. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian, a Scorpion, any water sign, or a Leo as well. Um, what else? There is a very conflicting energy within your reading. Somebody wants to move forward, okay? It's, you know, there is opposing energy. It's like one person wants to move forward, the other person is pushing them back. Uh, they want to come this person wants to come, um, yeah, and shake hands. Okay, so they're going the distance. But the thing is, like, you know, this person is so forceful, or maybe they're going back. They're keeping the distance. Whoever it is, either they're pushing them away, or you know, how much ever they're coming to go, uh, go closer, this person is moving away. So it's, it's a challenging situation, if you can understand what I'm trying to say. It's very challenging because there is opposing energies, which is blocking you from getting what you want. It's almost like uh, people are losing their power. Hmm? Sorry. It's almost like people. 
people want to show who, is, who has the power over the situation. There is this power play which is subtle that it, it's more like somebody doesn't want to agree okay, on something because they just don't want to agree with you. You know, that kind of a power play because I have um, a say in it. I'm not going to let it be easy for you. It doesn't have to be a third party in the sense it has to be, um, you know, a, a relationship, you know, triangle. No, it could be parents, it could be siblings or something, you know, friends or something of that sort. A third party influence you need there. It doesn't have to be a relationship itself, okay? Uh, it could be anything, it could be a career, your workplace, your family situation, whatever, okay? You need the um, uh, collaboration of everybody to make things work. But you have these opposing forces which is making it a challenge. Just, just making it difficult for the heck of it. Hmm? Very stranded, you feel very outcasted. It's like one against the one up against the others, and you don't know what to do about it. You have no idea how um, you know how to get out of the situation. Seven of Swords in reverse, you have no clue. It's almost like uh, you have to, you know, just give in. Give in to the situation. Hmm? It's, it's, it's stressing you out not knowing what to do about it. You just have to deal with it. Yes. You're not liking it much. Okay? You're not liking it. Uh, you don't like the fact that uh, you know, people are not offering you, you know, there is no peace within the situation. It's, it's you know, you're literally losing your mind uh, over this. Okay? And how people are against you. There is also a uh, Just like I said, someone really doesn't want to um, come shake hands. Yeah? Prince of Cups, somebody really don't want to come forward and call it a truce. No. Prince of Cups in reverse. Someone is not uh, into that idea. Yeah? Queen of Cups, uh, sorry, Queen of Swords and the um, Hanged Man. Okay, this might be your energy who is like, I might be speaking directly to the cross watcher as well, okay? This story could be uh, someone who's dealing with an um, Aries. Uh, the wise decision, okay? Like I said previously, you are thinking it's, it's better to just give in and not do anything about it, okay? Because hangman, Someone is thinking the best thing to, uh, you know, do right now is just hang in there and not do anything about it. Yeah, just to keep it together. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. Okay, like I said, people are not on the same page anymore. It's so like either you have it or just. I don't want to use any profanity right now. Um, you can just walk away. It's your choice. Yeah? People are against you. Either you have it or you just wait and try to see whether things will settle down or not. Oh, it's a headache. Because my head is straining right now. You're waiting for the chance. Hmm? You're waiting patiently. Uh, because you see there is still a chance so you're willing 
you're willing to hang in there although it is not what you want you really want to charge in there and do something about it but you know if you do that you're going to lose lose out so it's a very calculated approach to hang in there for things to come your way with the three of wands in reverse who waiting you're expecting for things to come your way but then uh, what you need to do is you cannot be impulsive about this whole situation by uh, with the knight of swords and what was it mm. yeah uh, nine of cups in reverse if you do something rash things will not go your way and you understand that so the wise choice is hangman and the queen of swords so she is thinking you know uh, very sensibly right now okay what is the right thing to do and she understands uh, they need to wait okay she needs to wait she needs to wait it out only then things will go their way how, how she expects it to go okay? things will come through only if she waits yeah otherwise everything is just going to slip out of your hands hmm? so it's almost like you are um, okay in being um, I want to say this is a toxic energy but I want to say you are a slave to the situation you're a slave to the situation that's what I was picking all through all through your reading you have to uh, you know, tape your mouth and just, you know, just bear with this bullshit because that's the only way. Otherwise, you're going to lose out everything and nobody really cares. And you know very well you need to just shut up and sit through it. You seem to be a slave to the situation. I was always saying this could be family. Whoever this Three of Pentacles is about, it has to do with so many influence, okay? Other people influences. This could be a family as well. Hmm? Who's not on the same page as you? Who's not seeing things? Um, as you like them to see, you know, it's just not on the same page as you. You see a future, but they are not willing to see it the way you want to see it. Then, I uh, see it. Okay, that's confusing. Anyways, Eight of Pentacles and the Tower. They're just not budging. They're just not budging. Okay, things might have just gone off the roof already. And you are trying to just stabilize the situation somehow. This reading is very stressing. You know, it's literally giving me a migraine and I don't have a migraine. Some people can't think straight because their head is aching just thinking about this whole situation. So stressed out, how to make things work? How to make things work? How to fix things? It has already blown. The tower moment might have already happened or it might be happening and you want to just, you know, try to stabilize the situation before it goes out of hand nine of wands in reverse it's like you know you're very much anxious what next now yeah, what next hmm? but you're very optimistic okay what it could be how you could make things work your way very optimistic although it seems a little um out of hand out of reach sorry out of reach you're still very expectant you're still dreaming it might what if what if i i could make it work hmm? 
although it seems like right now nothing is happening your way but you you are not giving hope okay you will go to any extent to get what you want with the alchemist universe using all your resources even if it means going the crooked way you are okay to do that I'm speaking to the Aries some of you might be dealing with a Gemini air signs or an Aries yeah you are an Aries okay some of you might be dealing with an air sign person a possible Gemini we have the Taurian as well Can I say this before? Scorpion, Cancerians, Leo. Okay. So yes, you are coming through as a person who is. I I did say about the slave thing, but then it's like compromising because you know you have to. You know, do this to get something bigger. Hmm? To get charge of something. You know? It's like smooth, smooth, um, smoothly gliding through the situation by not, you know, pissing anybody off by going against it and telling them, confronting them. You don't want to do that right now. Because you want a second chance to have this power back. When I speak about the power, losing your power within the situation, you want to have a second chance with the judgment card in reverse. You want to have that power back. Okay? With the emperor. You want to get back in your power. Hmm? The whole thing is stressing you out. Hmm? Nine is what some of you might be, uh, might not be able to, you know, sleep just thinking about your current situation. I don't even know if it's a love reading. I don't feel like someone is really disappointed. Someone is walking away, but I'm not sure whether it has to be a love reading. Someone is really stuck. Somebody is waiting for a chance, okay, um, for things to be correct okay things of stop right now is a pentacles things seems to be like slipping out of your hand or already slipped out of your hand and you want to get it back you want to have this power back okay right now nothing might be yes a uh, cherry card in reverse nothing might be moving forward but yet your intention is to have some kind of a movement okay eight of wands in reverse uh you want to Take charge of a situation and make things happen your way. I don't know how it makes sense to each of you. Um, because it can be taken in any way. It could be a relationship reading. It could be a career reading as well. Let me know. So until next time, this is Marishi. You're my channel for Bye-bye.